Tokyo Tough Tournament is the wild man, Yoshiki Takahashi versus Vernon Tiger White. Takahashi just doesn't seem to care if he gets hit or not. Tokyo Bay NK Hall and the Pancrase fighting continues with Yoshiki Takahashi. He looks totally different now, Eric, without that long, long hair. Yeah, I don't think uh, many people have seen that picture, but he looked a little like Eddie Van Halen earlier on. I think he looks more like a Pancrase fighter now. Well, he was an amateur wrestling champion at age 18, won the inter-high tournament for 20-year-olds and younger. And his style is really a dangerous, wild style, some say. 5'11", 205, he's 27, his home is Chiba, which is north of Tokyo. And Takahashi's opponent, Vernon Tiger White. And he comes to the ring with those ever-present shades. I think he's got the entrance thing down, definitely. Oh, he's got his game face on as well. He's got the eye of the Tiger as he enters the ring. He's 6'2", 187 pounds from Palo Alto, California. Tiger White is 24 years of age. He's fought 21 times in Pancrase competition, so he's been around. Takahashi's last fight, July oh, Tokyo, a victory over Yanagasawa, a decision 15 minutes. He's got an interesting strategy, Takahashi does. I don't know how wise it is. Uh, he tends to let himself get hit, let himself get knocked around, show it doesn't hurt him. I don't know how long he can last with that. Tiger White comes off an impressive win over Minoru Suzuki, 15-minute decision in Tokyo in July. That was the Neo Blood Tournament. I think we'll see a lot of kicks out of uh, Tiger tonight. He's at Taekwondo Foundation. That's where he got his start. So let's see what he does with it. So it's Vernon Tiger White, Yoshiki Takahashi. This one's scheduled for 20 minutes. Very even match, uh, close in weight. Takahashi with a bit more. I think he's stronger than White also. But if White can keep him outside, I think he can minimize the risk. Vernon Tiger White in the black trunks and Takahashi in the teal trunks. Feeling out process here. Tiger missing with the right hand. There's that kick. There's that kick. He's six foot two. So he extends that. There's a lot of reach there. Good low kick that time by Tiger White. It'll be interesting to see who shoots first. And right now, Whoa. Takahashi just coming in and eating some kicks and some punches. Like I was saying earlier, he just doesn't seem to care. In fact, it seems to, to, to rile him up. Good counter that time by Takahashi. Tiger let the leg go. Another lead kick by Takahashi. Tiger doesn't seem to want to go down. He's content to stand up there, uh, and I can see why. He's, he's getting the best of Takahashi. Oh, oh man, Takahashi! It was like a delayed fall. I think he might have clipped his temple there. Six, seven, eight. That points to the weakness of a, a get-hit strategy. So that means that Takahashi loses a point. If he loses five in the match, it's over. I don't think I'd want to get hit five times in the temple. I think he's going to have to take uh, take White down if he's going to get some work done here. Tiger using those legs very well thus far. Low kick, Takahashi. Takahashi does not have the reach to be to be in this kind of fight here. He's got to move inside. Could have clinched there, decided not to. You know, Eric, so often in boxing, we talk about the same thing. A fighter who's got to take the fight to the inside can't get involved in uh, making it a boxing match. Exactly. Especially when you're built like Takahashi like that. You're shorter, you're thicker, you just get inside and go to work. Takahashi might have thought about a choke there momentarily. And now he'd be happy with a suplex, I think, but he'd, he'd kick himself back. Break. Not going to do it. And the two fighters will break. What? Third year anniversary event of Pancrase at Tokyo Bay and K Hall. Tiger White in the black trunks, Takahashi in the teal trunks, and now Takahashi trying to go inside. Good low kick. Another oh, one. That was a very nice kick by Takahashi. You notice we haven't gone to the mat yet. Both fighters content to stand and trade blows. Right, I would tend to think that works at the disadvantage of Takahashi. I agree. I think Tiger White, a guy who started Taekwondo when he was 16, and one who prefers to be 
on his feet and moving and, and, and scoring and moving, Eric, not just standing there. Exactly. Takahashi's foundation is in wrestling. He, he's much better suited to be on the mat, and particularly in this kind of fight with his build, he doesn't want to be doing this. He's and there's a quick slap by Tiger White. Got his attention. There's no question Takahashi is tough that he can take the shots. He took a lot from Ken Shamrock, but he didn't win that fight. And so far, he's not winning this fight. He complained in that fight about oil on Ken's body. Good exchange with both fighters scoring and both utilizing their kicks. White wondering maybe a little bit, how much can this guy take? He's giving him a lot of shots. Doesn't seem to be phasing Takahashi. And when is Takahashi gonna try to shoot for a double leg and take Tiger down? Good kick by Tiger. Oh, he almost pulled off a beautiful spinning back kick, but missed it. And there's Takahashi getting some control. You don't see a lot of spinning kicks in the sort of competition precisely because you can be taken down so quickly. But that's a move that Don the Dragon Wilson would be proud of from Tiger White there. That's a fact. Now, Takahashi would like to get his arm around for a choke, but we got Vernon keeping his, his arm in tight there against his rib cage. Oh, he's let it go. He seems to be trying to turn him, but not working too hard at it. Takahashi's hanging on to that leg as White makes the roll. White makes the roll. He was in a little bit of danger there. Side mount now for Takahashi. First time he's had his opponent where he wants him on the mat. So he's got his weight high and up on the chest of White, which is where he wants it to be. That's the hardest to escape. He's going for a key lock here. White's keeping it close to his chest so he can't extend it, can't get the leverage to lock it out. So we've got a very good defense here. They might stop this. He's, he's going to dangle his legs over the edge of the ring if he's not careful. He might stand them up. You know, White's giving away 18 pounds, but to me, right now, he looks strong. Yeah, there's the break. White, anybody on their back is strong when they're resting and when, when they're not exerting a lot of energy. Once again, back to their feet, a little bit of cat and mouse, quick kick by Tiger White. Tiger White connecting. He's not as strong as Takahashi, but he's a lot more accurate. And he prefers to go upstairs. Nice little palm strike. While Takahashi prefers to kick low. Oh. And White throws him off and through the ropes. That seems to be the theme here tonight, Bruce, through the ropes. Well, that's one good way to dispose of your opponent momentarily, at least. Back to their feet. And some respect shown by both men. Good sportsmanship. And the crowd really appreciates that act of respect. We actually had a bout earlier, Shibuya and Ito, which ended with uh, stairs rather than handshakes. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened with that, uh, but th these two don't seem to have any prior history. I think this is just a one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, just get some business done here. You see, the, you see the ropes are tighter there. That was coming back from the last tournament. They've tightened those up so you can't hang on them. You're just going to be bounced right back into the ring if you try that. And a smart move there by Vernon Tiger White, running away from trouble. Oh, oh he oh, picks him and drops nice him. Nice take down. Nice move by Takahashi. A lot of power, got his weight, got his center bounce up underneath the hips of uh, Tiger White, and there's nothing White could have done about it at that point. Takahashi trying to score Hi. on the ground. Some of the first blows we've seen on the ground here. The break. Break. And the break. Takahashi's done extremely well in amateur wrestling international tournaments. Guy who's been wrestling since he was 18, so he's been doing it almost 10 years. Which is precisely why I don't think he should be standing fighting with White here. I'm not quite sure what he has in mind for this. Back heel by White. And another oh. one. And that last one almost knocked Takahashi down. So White very versatile on his feet, employing a multitude of different kicks. I've got to say though, Bruce, both these fighters are expending a lot of energy here. It takes a lot of energy to throw and to, and to defend at the same time. You can have a couple of very tired fighters in a very short period here. Takahashi complaining about a foul. And White having his hand looked at by the ref. I got a finger in the mouth, perhaps. 
No foul called though. Fighters appear to be okay and they're back to action. It's interesting, Takahashi has fought White before. He fought him last April and, and he lost to him. So I, I would think that he'd come out with a little bit of aggression here and try to get some work done. He might be going for the knockout. You might think I'm bigger, I'm stronger. Nice flurry. A rapidity of blows to the midsection by Takahashi. I don't think those hurt White much. He's covering up pretty well. Tiger missing wildly. Open hand there by Tiger. That made some kind of sound. Yeah, that was that was pretty far back on the head. If that was a little closer up towards the temple, I, I think we'd be seeing Takahashi going down again. Takahashi can't be playing with that with that kind of stuff. Trying to free the hand. A knee off the ropes by Tiger White. Now he's got his head down. He doesn't have a choke sunk in there. Now they're gonna break him up. You see Bruce already very fatigued, very fatigued. What? Takahashi, though, back up on his toes, low kick, white counters. The Taekwondo is serving him very well. Oh, oh. oh. and look oh. out. Oh. It is ruled oh. a knockdown. Oh. He caught something, I think, probably on the point of the chin there, just staggered him just for a second. So white was stunned enough. He loses a point. White's doing what he needs to do. He's taller, he's keeping Takahashi outside, he's punishing him from outside. Takahashi's definitely on the losing end of this, but this is where he gets in trouble. Very good high kick, but White counters. And another kick to the head by Tiger White. And now back from Takahashi. An amazing exchange of blows there. Takahashi will match him Blow for blow, he will go toe to toe. He does not care. White, I don't think, wants to get hit, and I don't blame him. Takahashi doesn't seem to mind. Best action of the fight right there. Both fighters scoring with leg kicks and some open palm strikes. Now Tiger White trying to ride the bigger Takahashi. He'll probably try to get his Did leg out between the other two of Takahashi, get the mount. What? He doesn't need the mount to get a lock. Man, you can hear the ref say, fight. Yeah. He doesn't really have the leverage there. Since Takahashi has his leg, he can't really put that choke on. You see, he's got his hand up in there. He's also relieving the pressure on his throat. And I'll tell you, the fact that he's sweaty, Eric, it's going to contribute to not being able to hold on to that choke. Absolutely. Back to their feet. And this usually favors White, though, in the last exchange. We saw Takahashi get in some strong kicks. Absolutely. You see White very slow to get up. These men are getting tired. Takahashi looks like the fresher of the two. Don't ever turn your back, and that's what Takahashi did. Hold everything, the ref looking over. I think there was a low blow there, he was calling that. And he's gonna give Takahashi a little time here if that's what it was. A warning. Yeah, that's what it was, a low blow. Not much time to recover there. No, he felt that one, Bruce, definitely. So Takahashi lost his air. Low kick scored by Tiger White. And for a wrestler, I haven't seen Takahashi try a single takedown, Bruce. He just wants to back White into the corner and go to work from close in. Whoa! Well, that's a big slam again. I stand corrected. Had one earlier where he kind of picked him up, and there's another one. But because he's backing him up, he tends to take him down by the ropes, and they're going to get stood up if he lets that leg go over the edge of the ring. And that's not going to help him. I don't think he wants to be stood up. And White just very patient here. He'll roll it to the ropes, hopefully get a reset. Yeah, he's out of that. Takahashi doesn't have anything. In fact, he's just spending a lot of energy trying to hold him there. And White clears his head. So each time they get up a little bit slower. 
I think it was Ken Shamrock that said, it doesn't matter how big the ring is, you always seem to wind up right at the edge of the ropes. <laughs> That's very true. Low kick by White. Not very hard. Nice combination by Takahashi. Very nice combination. White just, just rolling right out of it. But he took some punishment. These add up. Straight rights. You got to be cr pretty quick to connect with a straight right. Absolutely. So often you'll see the, the left set up the right. Classic boxing move. Jab, jab, straight right hand. White looking for a leg lock here, I would think. He's looking down between his legs. He's going to roll. Yep. Takahashi knows that one. Well, White missed that move. Clearly ends up on his back. There's a perfect example of the lack of execution, Eric. How it can kill you. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, it was so obvious that he was looking for it. Takahashi was waiting for him to roll. And when he went, he just kicked his right leg out. And he had nothing to hold on to whatsoever. Just came up empty. Side mount for Takahashi. Takahashi fatigued now with good reason. He's trying to get some position here. But uh, White's holding him very close. Not letting him work. Back to their feet. Vernon Tiger White in the black trunks. Yoshiki Takahashi in the teal trunks. This bout scheduled for 20 minutes. Another straight shot to the temple. I'm amazed how much punishment Takahashi can take. Ooh, an uppercut. Takahashi got lost in the ropes, but then disengaged. You don't see White now throwing those big leg kicks he threw early in the bout. That takes a lot of energy, and uh, he sort of dipped into his energy reserves here. We might see a few low things, you know, or if he thinks he can connect with a big one. There's a knee by White. I think the key is on efficiency here. Another knee. But like Frank Shamrock, if Takahashi leaves that head down like that, he's going to be in a world of hurt. And you can hear the breathing. You can hear the laboring of the two fighters now. You see Takahashi holding the right knee of White. He knows it's there. He knows the danger. The break. Break. So a little under five minutes to go. And who has what left? I'd say both fighters are uh, equally fatigued. If I'm not mistaken, the ref is telling White to, to get busy here. There's a quick open palm strike. And he does get busy. Another one. Good combination oh. by Tiger. Takahashi countered. Oh, White eats a few. I don't think he liked that at all. And I think that roll was more of a dramatic roll than, than a pertinent one. Takahashi wanted that to be counted as a knockdown. I don't think they're going to give it to him. Straight right hand again. He's quick with that. And there's one of the few times we've seen him try a kick upstairs since early in the bout. Four minutes to go. Will this one go to the scorecards? It's hard to say at this point. Both these men strong enough to knock out with a single shot. Good hand again. That's exactly the kind of shot that could do it. If you could move it up just a bit to the temple, down they go. Tiger White in the guard. Both these guys are pretty much resting right now. They're being told to work it. See if Takahashi can employ any of his grappling skills. He seems to have cast himself in the kickboxer role tonight. White trying to get behind Takahashi. Too high, Takahashi is just too savvy for that. Coming up on three minutes to go in this bout. White's very tired. As you know, there's no timeouts other than some knockdowns, something like that. You got no time to rest. This is Tokyo tough, and right now you've got to be tough. Absolutely. This is what it comes down to when you're too tired to lift a hand. And once again, Tiger White complaining to the ref. I think he's uh, claiming a punch on the part, but uh, the ref's not going to call it. Not at this point of the bout. White scores. Takahashi trying to score. There's that knee again. When the head's down, you're very vulnerable. Very good move by Tiger. He's got the arm around, but I don't think he's got a legitimate choke there. 
got to kick his hips forward. Takahashi's broken it. Both men just resting here. Very tired. What? Takahashi could try to bring him down. I don't know how adept at engineering that choke that Tiger White would be. Under two minutes remaining. Takahashi scoring. Coming on very strong. White tried to kick and ended up in the rope. Yeah, just knocking himself down, basically. Yeah, these ropes are pretty widely spaced. You lean back, you can go right through it, as, uh, as I'm sure Frank Shamrock can tell us. A minute and a half remaining. Somebody's going to have to make something happen here. Takahashi lands a right. Couple of blows right through the ropes. Very strong from Takahashi. And White was just trying to get away from that and back through the ropes. Each fighter has lost one point in this match. If either fighter is looking for a knockout, this is when it's going to have to happen. White slapping. Scoring with the kick. Down goes Takahashi. That was quite a kick. He hit him right along the jaw, right on the button there. I don't know if he's getting up. Takahashi gets to his feet. This is a man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ken Shamrock for 20 minutes straight. I think uh, White's going to have to show a little more than that if he's going to knock this man out. White. Referee says fight on. Takahashi showing his medal. Can Tiger White finish? Takahashi's hands are very low. He's not defending himself very well. It's taken a lot out of him with the earlier blows. Takahashi showing a lot of guts staying in this fight. Guts or something else. His hands are he's just not defending himself. White, couple of palm strikes, a couple of combinations there. Big kick by Tiger. Takahashi takes a few more of those. He's going down. And Takahashi goes down. I think that was a low blow, though, Bruce. All of a sudden, he turned and went down. It wasn't a big, booming kick, and you're right. Yeah, yeah, that was a low blow. <laughs> I think that shot was a little south of the border. He'll take a dozen starts to the head, but a uh, well-placed one of the groins, another thing altogether. So given the ample time now is Takahashi. Less than a minute to go in this bout, unofficially. And this is also going to send a rest for White. Takahashi's recuperating. White, he's getting his, his win back. And now the referee looking for a card. And he's going to give Tiger White a yellow card. That is for a caution after the first foul. That's the second low blow Takahashi sustained tonight. Man taking a lot of punishment. So White over in his neutral corner. White looking like he'd just like to get this over with at this point. Looking for some air, while this man is looking for air, obviously. Yeah. Takahashi will be continuing, though. You can see his tenacity. He's got to get his hands up, though. Just got to get his hands up, or he's going down. Tiger White missed a knockout kick there. Last 30 seconds of the bout. Big kick by White. Oh, we can see a flurry now. This is the sprint towards the finish. Got to get his hands up. Another big kick and down goes Takahashi. This one's over. Ref stopped it. A front kick by Tiger White and Takahashi went down. Very strong kick. He's saying no low blow, I think, but uh, he's won the match regardless. Unofficially, 17 seconds to go, and he finishes up. Now here we see Takahashi backing him up. Tiger White, just to get away, he's falling right through the ropes. I think that's as much his own momentum as Takahashi. Now here we see Takahashi, he's just not defending himself at this point. Ducking a little bit, but he's just walking into it. Down he goes with that kick. That was the second knockdown of the night. Now let's see if we can pick up the low blow here. Yeah, as usual, Takahashi's backing him up, backing him up, and uh, White connecting. As he, as he did a lot towards the end there, but I think he's backed up, up against the ropes, and he, I think he pushes off with his foot to try to, yeah, yeah, there it is right there. He's pushing off with his foot to, to push off Takahashi, square in the groin. 
I don't care who you are, that's, that's going to have an effect. And here's the finish. I counted the last two minutes, Takahashi took 21 shots to the head, which will add up. And finally, it just it rocks him. You see, he staggers for a second. Wow! And down he goes. A thunderous front kick there, and that was it. Referee stopped the bout. Vernon Tiger White wins the marathon match with the knockout.